Hi, my name is Adam Corman. I am a high school English teacher. I've been teaching for 17 years, and I teach English and journalism and yearbook and newspaper. I didn't always plan on becoming a teacher. It wasn't even on the radar. Um, I wanted to be an accounting uh, major, and while I was in college, I realized I didn't have that much interest in accounting. Um, and it didn't help that I failed a brief calculus class three times, so I decided I had to change majors. My dad was a teacher, and I liked the idea of, of teaching and coaching, and so I had to figure out you know, what I was going to teach. That led me to high school. That's what my dad taught. That's what I was comfortable with. And the thought of boogers and hugs from little kids and pulling on my pants didn't appeal to me. So I naturally uh, chose high school. Then I had to come up with a subject. Math was clearly not my forte. I didn't do much better in science. <clears throat> so it kind of came down to I liked history a lot. But at that time, I really only liked American history. So I could read and I can write. So I decided to become an English teacher, not knowing that I would, I would decide that I liked the subject uh, more than I realized. And that's kind of where, where I stuck with um, for, for the rest of, of college and became an English teacher. Um, when I was in high school, I, I, I really didn't like math and science that much. I took an accounting class and it was pretty easy. So I thought, well, I'm gonna major in accounting. Then I got to college and the class was a little bit different than what it was like in high school. And I couldn't see myself sitting at a desk all day. I had to do something different. So that that's kind of how I, I became a teacher. A typical day for me, I get to work Usually around 6.45, our school day starts at 7.40, but I like to be able to go as slow as I want in the morning, get prepared for the day and not feel like I'm chasing the day. Um, I can't stand that feeling. So I get there about 6.45, make any copies that I need to make, get set up for the day. And then once classes start, it's just one class after the next until I have a prep period where I can uh, make copies for the next day, grade, um, just get organized for, for the next day or for the next weeks coming. And then after school's out, obviously my, my school day doesn't end. Um, there's grading, there's planning, uh, there's um, more getting organized because if you don't, um, then, then you'll, you'll have a hard time um, getting the lessons prepared um, if you're not ready and, and don't understand where you want to get to um, in the coming weeks, months, as far as units are concerned. So that's that's pretty much it. Um, that's yeah, that's pretty much it.